We knew that Apple was preparing to release iOS 16 at WWDC 2022, but a huge surprise was a completely new generation of CarPlay OS that essentially gave us everything that I dreamed about when I thought about Apple Car. In fact, maybe this is actually what Apple Car was all along. Full control over your car from the odometer to the fuel gauge to the most intuitive OS ever designed in the car. I'm so excited about this update, so let's dive into everything that's new. Number one, controlling all screens in your car, not just the main touchscreen. Now your iPhone will be able to communicate with your car in way more detail, including completely revamping your existing instrument cluster to look unapologetically iOS. Plus, it'll extend to all other displays in your vehicle where they've shown an extra wide instrument cluster spanning the whole dash and traditional landscape touchscreen and a traditional instrument cluster with an extra tall touchscreen and three apps shown. Number two, here's everything CarPlay now has control over. So I watched the keynote way too many times, and here's a list of everything that was shown off working through CarPlay. Speed, total odometer, trips, gears, RPM, temperature, fuel, compass, elevation, car radio, internal temperature, external temperature, dual climate control, AC, heated steering wheel, ventilated seats, air return, max AC, sync dual climate, fuel economy, torque, horsepower. Number three, you can have customized instrument cluster themes. Custom designed by Apple from modern to traditional, which changes the colors, dial, treatments, backgrounds, and layout. The different themes include a modern flat line, traditional two cluster and widget view, traditional with a lot more clusters and different color variations, and a navigation layout. The preview showed a mix of animated wallpapers and non-moving options. They had solid colors, gradients, a blue animated dial, a colorful abstract wallpaper, and background taken over by the widget in the center, like animated maps background or a weather background that changes much like the weather app on iPhone. They stated in the keynote that the theme can be different for each screen in your car, so it doesn't have to carry over. We also know the standard instrument cluster has seven pages of widgets in the demo, though it's unclear if those are pre-selected or if you can change them yourself. Number four, there are custom split screen apps. While we don't know all combinations, we saw a mix in the keynote from weather and radio and a tall option with three apps, including maps, radio, and weather. It's possible weather is always on the right while the left changes to whatever you select in the app library, but we don't know for sure. Number five, there are custom widgets. Here's everything that Apple previewed. Number one, custom trip, which includes duration, fuel, economy, and distance. Calendar, which includes your up next. Temperature, which includes air quality and UV index. Weather, which includes current and hourly temperature. Maps, which is turn by turn. Home, including garage door. World clock with two options. Now playing, which includes song, artist, album, duration, and album art. Then on the instrument cluster, we also saw trip, including distance, average fuel, and average speed, torque and power, incoming calls, compass and elevation, and lastly, these widgets can be shown on the instrument cluster or secondary screens. It's also possible they can be placed on the standard touchscreen, but that wasn't shown in detail. Number six, here's everything inside the temperature control menu. Number one, temperature with individual control for each side, temperature location toggle, air return, heated steering, heated seats, ventilated seats, max AC, sync temperature between zones, and I'm assuming a more option for, to toggle even more features that they haven't announced yet. Number seven, there's a new car radio app that lets you see the station, genre, song, album art, whether the station is HD and seek between stations. There's also a browse button that we saw, which I assume lists all the available stations out there. Number eight, app library exists and looks pretty much exactly the same as the current OS, no longer including a dashboard. Number nine, control center exists, but we haven't actually seen how it works yet, just that it's shown between the recent app section. Number 10, dual climate control shows on the bottom left and right of the main screen on wider screens. Also, if your screen is tall and narrow, it doesn't show at all. So that's everything we know about CarPlay in iOS 16. Apple noted that it is currently in development, but that 14 manufacturers listed here are planning on announcing vehicles first with the next generation of CarPlay. In terms of a timeline, the vehicles that are slated to be announced in late 2023, meaning the first vehicles that will be released are in 2024. If I missed anything about CarPlay, please let me know in the comments down below. As well, if you want to be up to date on Apple's latest announcements, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this from me.
Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.